Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. Welcome to our channel where independent snapping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current snapping up products from our online shop. Do use the card host code which can be found on our website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies. So pack of gems and exclusive tutorial bundle designed by Stamping Lab Squad and the Global Creative Project. We give away the cards that we create during the live stream so subscribe to our channel and uh, pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw. Um, and yes, don't forget to hit the all notification bell icon to receive um, <laughs> to be notified uh, when we're live or when we have new uploads uh, on the channel. So we'll say hello. And thumbs up. Yes. And yes, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. I'll just um, say hello to this. It's, really, it's really trying to, uh, there's not many names in tonight. It's, it's trying to get in there really quickly. So let's just draw it out a little bit. I'm feeling you would normally would say a little bit more. Like what? You you say it then. I don't know. Um, yes, See, well, well said, Suki. Yes, yeah, Suki. <laughs> Suki wanted to say hello. So well done, Suki. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've stalled a little bit. <laughs> right. Well, say hello to those of you who have joined us already and popped in a comment. So thank you so much. Um, you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream. So we have Betty, hi, Connie, Gian, Angelina, um, Susan, Nani Shasha, hello, Sandra, Kathy S, the Bling Bling Crafter, Pat, Linda, Sylvia, Carolyn or Caroline, Sue, Janice, Carol, Maureen, Anne, hello, Jewel. Karen Schneider and Tina Simpson. Yay! Lovely. Thank you very much for joining us. So, yes, so we're going to be playing with the Forever Fern stamp set tonight. Ooh. Reason being why we're we playing with this set, Jay? It's one of our favourite Kling stamps from the <laughs> annual catalogue. And currently uh, it is on 15% off and it only lasts uh, until 10.50 p.m. UK time. So you've got so a couple more hours if you would like to get hold of this and save yourself 15%, you can do, yes. so, which is great. So head over to our links to our online shop can be down found below, down found, yeah, found down below in the description. Um, shush now. Um, <laughs> Me? I wasn't um, doing anything. <laughs> so, that, so yeah, if you would like to buy that before this evening, um, then you can save yourself an extra 15% off of it. But alternatively, it is available. It is in the annual catalogue, so it will be available until, hopefully, until June, June. of next year. So, um, so yes, yes, and, and there's, there's loads more of um, stamp set in the promotion. So do check out the website for the list. Yes, lovely. Yes. So we're going to pick a winner. <laughs> you seem very disjointed tonight. I don't know. I don't know. Just. <laughs> It, Here we go. It's just you. So we're going to pick a winner for this card here, um, which is the second card which I made on Sunday using the time of giving, uh, or the giving gift dies really. I, I, yeah. I keep saying the time of giving, but I, there's no actual time of giving stamp set on that. It's all giving. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's all, all actually giving, giving gift dies. Yeah. Um, so that's what we what, that's what we did on Sunday. So if you want to see how that one was made, and I also made a lovely one, which a nice scene with Santa flying across the sky as well, so showing you different ways. So if you want to see those ones and you haven't seen it already, check out um, check out that video from Sunday, just gone, so it'll be the video just before this one, um, and have a little look. Yes. But amazing. yes, so Forever Fan tonight, so we are doing Christmas, but with a non-Christmas stamp set. Yeah. So let's pick a winner for this card. Right, I'll just refresh. Ooh, three more. So, did we want to do? Did you want to do the? I can't do the wheel. On oh, this one, I don't we can't think. do the wheel at, uh, for this one. We'll do the wheel later. So, good luck, everyone. And the winner is Jackie Elliot. Congratulations, Jackie. Congrats. So, uh, email us, please, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts .com with your address. Pop today's date, so the twentieth of October, twenty twenty one, in the subject line. So it's easy and YouTube winner, so it's easy for us to. And I love what you said. Uh, you've sold me on this bundle, Barry. Fab cards as usual and great demos too. Thank the you very FS. Much. 
So that card there, Jackie, is going to be working its way over to you. So it may take a little bit of time. I, I, oh, I, can, I will say all cards, everyone who has won previously and has contacted us, cards have now been posted. Um, so you will get those. Maybe we should update. We should set a date, like every beginning of the month or end of the month. Yeah, I tried to, I suppose. <laughs> So yeah, so Jackie, that one there is going to be working its way over to you as soon as possible. So congratulations. So yes, as mentioned, so Forever Fern, this one right here. So this is a non-Christmas stamp set, but we are going to turn it into a Christmas just by changing the way we do the colours. Um, and there's one thing I've forgotten already, but it's fine. Jay's not in the room, so I can get up and go and get it. So that's fine. Um... Bear with me one moment. <laughs> what, what are you I needed some kind of cardstock. I just realised that I needed that. I forgot something. But that's fine. Jay wasn't in the room, so I had to get up and go get it myself. So, never mind. So, currently, I think the score... Um, I think the score is this. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the current score for us. So, if you're wondering what I'm talking about... We just have a little friendly competition between me and Jay. How many times do we have to... Will I be asking Jay for something this evening? And currently, throughout the month, I think I am on two and Jay is on one. So, um, so yes. I think that's... Correct me if I'm wrong. Jay said three. It may be three one, but I think, it may, I think it's two one. So, good. Um, yes. Let me get myself straight for a moment. Um, right. So what I need to do is I just need to get myself a few things sorted here. So I've got myself some basic white cardstock. And I'm also going to be doing this with the Forever Flourishing dies. Lots of Fs tonight. Forever Fern and Forever Flourishing. Um, so this, they don't come as a bundle. But obviously you, if you buy this one tonight you'll get 15% off of this. So therefore um, yeah, you'll save yourself money if you buy that one. A little bit of extra money so you can buy the coordinating dies which go with it as well. I'm also going to be using some of the shimmery white embossing paste this evening, which is which I'm really I'm looking forward to. We've had this for a long, long time, and keep forgetting to use it. We actually found it a couple of weeks ago, didn't yeah. we? For oh, we've got some <coughs> of that. Didn't we? I nearly ordered some more, and then we stumbled across some already. And we've actually had this for. Well, probably a good year now, haven't we? Yeah. And it's not, and it's still absolutely fine. It was sealed. It was, was it sealed? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was sealed. Okay. If it was sealed, then it will last you for a long, long time. Um, once it's opened, obviously the air is going to potentially get to it, so it could dry out relatively quickly. But sometimes, what you can do, I'll, well, I'll talk you through that in a moment. You can pop like a bit of um, a bag inside the lid, which will then seal it in a little bit more as well. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to take myself a card, um, some basic white, and I'm going to cut this down to 9 centimetres by 13.1. I'm going to cut two of these just in case I need, I need to do two, um, just so at least I've got one. Because whilst I've got the embossing paste out and I've got the folder, then I may just do two whilst I'm here. And you want me to do one in the green, which is over here as well, do you, Jay? Yeah. Okay. So I just want this to go on the record. I am doing part of... Jay's doing the second card tonight, um, but I'm doing part of it. But you're, you're doing most of it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this first because what I want to do is I want to be able to pop it to one side and I want it to dry a little bit as well. And I'm sure I said I brought myself over some... I'm just going to take myself a little bit of um, low tack masking tape and I'm going to take the striped folder, um, striped stencil here. So these are from the Adorning Designs Creative Masks, which are from the Autumn Winter Catalogue. I'm going to pop this over like so and I'm just going to then just anchor this in place at the top. Now, I would normally suggest that you may want to anchor the cardstock in place as well, but I've actually cut my cardstock down to the correct size. Ideally, what you may want to do is you may want to make it a little bit bigger than you actually are intending to use it for. 
so you can then cut it down so you can then anchor um, anchor this down. So what was that Mandy? You've um, not used your shimmery paste, it's still sealed, sealed too. So hopefully tonight we are going to inspire you to unseal it. So this has been unsealed for a couple of weeks now, because um, we did find it a couple of weeks, and it has been unsealed for a few weeks, but it has still, but we've had it in our stash for probably over a year now, and it is still, it's still nice and, nice and wet. You don't need much for this, so you're just going to take a little bit out, we're going to grab, obviously get one of the spatulas, and I'm just going to then just take this, and I'm going to do that, but I see I've already messed up on that already. One of them has moved. So you just do need you do need to be careful on that. I did go the wrong way. You should really go the way. Follow the pattern. I went that way and I've gone underneath it. I know I've gone underneath it. So I'm gonna just go through. But that's fine. I may be able to hide it underneath the underneath the sentiment. Once I've got it once I've done it all one way, it's kind of stuck down a little bit, and I'm just pasting this over. And I'm just scraping this through. If I see any bits which I look like I've missed, I would then just squidge these down a little bit more, and then just squidge it in. That's fine, and then I just scrape this off my mask as much as possible, and then I just scrape this back into my into my pot. I don't want to I don't want a thick layer on this because obviously the thicker it's going to be, the longer it's going to take to dry. And then I can then remove that. Oh, and actually, that mistake didn't actually make too much of a problem. And there we have our shimmery white. I'm just going to go through and just run my finger whilst it's whilst it's wet along the edges just to tidy up my edges a little bit here. And I'll tell you, this doesn't take long to dry at all, which is why I do love our paste, because you can actually do this and it will be dry probably within a couple of minutes, really. So can you see that there? Look how glittery. As we like to say, it's been lizzied. So anyone who knows what I'm talking about, it's a little um, one of the ladies on our class. She likes her glitter. So we have now, whenever whenever we use glitter, it's been lizzied. So I'm going to do that on the second one. So I'm just going to pop my bit of cardstock in here again. What I can do is I'll just scrape some of this off my my base a little bit, just so I've got a bit of a, a flatter surface to work on. And I will do a second one, so I'm just going to pop that in like so. Down we go. I'll pick up some more of this paste. So this time I'm going to go with the actual pattern. So I'm going to start off and now I'm going to go down and with it. Need a little bit more, pick a little bit more up. And just scrape it on. I forget how much I love the embossing paste. You have to use them now that you've opened it. Yeah, I do. Ah. So I keep saying every time I said, Oh, I think this is gonna be the Christmas card I'm gonna do this year. And then I make another card, and I think, oh, this could be the Christmas card I could make batch, make, batch make. But I don't know if I would actually want to batch make this particular card I am making, because there is a lot of techniques, and there's a lot of die cutting to it. So it may not be the best one. This may be more of a special card. But you can batch um, emboss paste. Oh, yeah, I can batch, I can batch emboss paste, a layer, yes. So I'm just really just working over this and just... Really pushing that into those designs. 
And you want me to do that other, that dotty mask, do you, Jay? So there's still a few bits I've missed down there. You can be a bit rougher with this if you want to and leave some, leave some higher bits. You can leave a bit of texture if you want to. You don't have to scrape it as much as I am doing. In we go and then carefully then just lift that off. And there we have the second one. Okay. So I'm going to just tidy up my edges again. Just go round. That's it. Alright, so that's my second one done. I'm now going to pop that to one side just to let that dry. And then we have got Jay's one, which he wants done for his card. Which is... Not that. So I may just need, you may just need to go and pop these in the in the sink, Jay, because we don't yeah. know we don't like them. Things. So this one here. Yes, please. So this is the other pattern. We'll do it once we've done both of them. Like so I'm gonna pop that down in there. I got up. Yeah, I know, but that's this is a necessity. <laughs> it's not because I forgot something. So I'm gonna I put that on here. Now, because there's not much, the paste isn't much on this one. This one does does really need to be anchored down quite a bit. And then, same thing. And you probably won't need much paste on this because it's more it's more um, it's more stencil than it is. Are you happy with the positioning on that, Jay? Yeah. Yeah. Is that even enough Amazing. for you? Yeah. All right. So this is what kind of cardstock is this? Is this um, mossy, meadow. mossy meadow? So Mossy Meadow cardstock, and Mossy again, <laughs> I'm going to then just pop this over the top of this again. You can see, and I haven't, I haven't used much at all. This pot, this pot will last you a long time. Well, it won't last you a long time. You'll be able to get a lot of cards out from it, but it isn't something which is going to last you forever because obviously it is liquid once it's been opened and the air has got to it it is going to um naturally it is going to dry out so just be aware of that whereas some products you get will last you forever so that's that so Good. I think I've got everything in there, so I hope that's shown you how to do it. And obviously, we sell the tools as well, and then just pop your lid back over. We try and leave the the foil lid on, just so it helps it. But what you can do, oh, let me just remove this before this actually sticks to it. Really, there we go. And that there is the embossing paste on the. Mossy Meadow cast up. So I'm just going to run my finger around that to take away the jagged edges. Jagged edges. I need to die cut. Wow. Do you want to take that away, Jason, so you can also. Take it away. So there we go. I might get you to pop that in the sink as well, so that's soaking. Yeah. I would say the reason I'm getting Jay to pop this in the sink, I would get these. I would once you finish with them, try and get them soaking um, sooner, sooner rather than later. And that way, it's going to be a lot easier to clean it. Okay, if you let that paste dry on it, it's going to be quite difficult to. Um, to well, it, it will come off, but obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder to clean it. it yeah, and it will make a mark. So with this, I would say keep your foil lid on. If you really want to, I, what we have done on some previous ones, we've got some cling film, and then we've popped some cling film over the top of this, and then screwed them. We could use some press and seal. I don't know whether or not that would work. That may work. Some press and seal, some cling film, over and just again over the top of this, and then screw the lid over the top of it. That then makes it, that then seals that quite nicely, and will then hopefully make that paste last a lot longer than it would do if you just leave the foil and and so on off. 
naturally air gets to it it's going to pay it's going to dry and this is a very very fast drying obviously this is already this is already pretty much dry and i did it this is the second one i did all right so that's that so that is some embossing paste i can now pop this to one side and i am done with that and though, remember those there are the masks which were the adorning designs decorative masks which are in the catalogue so you've got this one right here um what is this one it's like a stitched thing would you say it is i don't know what's yeah like a, a, a like a <laughs> like a, a a sewing like a knitting pattern maybe i don't know what is it a carrot <laughs> is it a carrot <laughs> Shut up, yeah. um this is easy to work out what this is this is snowflakes <laughs> Um, so again, with this, you can quite easily colour your paste as well. So if you use your reinkers, I reckon if you put some of this in here and re re do your reinkers with some blue, you can get yourself some really nice blue snowflakes. I think Ooh. that would look really, really pretty. And you see, we haven't even used it or hard to. I think we may have used it once, but we've not used it for paste because they are still too shiny. Um, they go. You're going to lose the shine. They will get. They will look grubby. They will. Yeah, but. Don't worry about that. That's what they are designed for. So good. So that was my my paste done. So now what I need to do is I now need to actually make the gut. Um, so I have got myself my card base. So let me just cut my card base down to size here. So five and three quarters or 14.6 centimetres by 21. Score that in half at... Ten and a half centimeters, or four and one eighths of an inch, and that there is my card base. Done. What I can then do is I will then fold and burnish this. And then I will then pick my best one. So what one do I like the best? Because I may as well start sticking this down now so it sticks to the car base. Because there's a lot of liquid floating around. Um, I'm going to go with this one right here, which was my second one. Because what happened is that that thin line here moved. Or that fat line there moved. As I, as I scraped the paste down this way, that fat line moved. And I just made it, I just closed it up. Whereas on this one here, I've got these nice lines in between everything so that's the one i'm going to go with for tonight and that was the second one and i'm happy that that one there has dried already what's going on with my card base tonight i've got a wonky card base let me just I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again. I'm not happy with it. Let's be a bit of scrap paper for later on. It was some odds. It was an odd, it was an odd piece in the packet anyway, which Jay must have been doing earlier on. So it may have just been cut ever so slightly wonky. Um, so I'm just gonna do that again. So I'm gonna cut some um, basic white thick down to so 14.6 or five and three quarters. Score in half at 10.5 or four and one eighths. And that there is that. That's better. And then I will then grab my layer here and then I'm just going to stick that directly down onto my card base. What are you laughing at, Joe? Um, Mandy Allen said, uh, press and seal. Jay hide, hiding. Um, hand over eyes and then Becky uh, laughed out loud and Angelina said did you use shimmery white um, pasta <laughs> it was paste um, yeah. I've just seen your question there Mandy how long does a paste take to dry it seems quick it is very quick which is why I like it because it's not one of these ones that you've then got to go I'm going to do my paste, I've got to leave it overnight to dry, and then I'm going to go and then do it tomorrow. You could quite easily knock all of these out, and then start creating instantly. Um, I can say this, I would say a couple of minutes, and it's dry. 
And so this was the second one I did, and you can see it's all right, I'm already happy that this is dry and happy for me to be touching it. And it's not, I'm not, I'm not damaging it. So that's why I love it. It's great. It is a very, very nice paste. So I'm going to pop that now to dry because, again, there is still moisture in this. I'd now put extra moisture on it because I've used some glue on the back of that. So I'm just going to leave all of that to one side whilst I now um, play with my elements and get those ready. And then that can then dry up a little bit more. So, good. We are going to do a bit of die cutting. Let me just see if I've got a big enough piece to do work with. That may work. Let's have a little look. So I've got our bag of scraps. And I'm going to be using a couple of stamps. I'm going to be using Shaded Spruce and Cherry Cobbler ink. And I'm going to be using the coordinating dies, which go with it, as well as an oval die as well. So I'm going to be using this oval die, and I'm just going to then just cut that one out right there. Ooh. There you go. As usual, I have to move everything for the cat to sit down on the chair. So, so just run this one through right now. Yeah, I'm the same with you, Mandy. If I I I hate having to. If I want to do a project, I want to. I've got it in my head. I want to do something, and I sometimes I think, oh, I've got to wait for it to dry, and then by that time you've lost your crafty mojo, and it's like, oh, really? No, you can. You can play with this paste, even once you've re-inked it and you've um, you put some colour in it, it'll still be a fast drying ink as well. So, yeah, open it up and play with it. It'll be it will be great. So that's that one. Um, so I just cut myself out an oval here. Um, that's gonna that will then go onto the card itself. And then what I need to do is I just need to do myself some stamping. So I'm just gonna grab myself some off cuts here because this is a great opportunity to use up some offcuts which you may have lying around in your stash. So yeah, I need, what do I need? I need one. Is that one big enough for that one there? Yeah, that one's big enough for that one. That one, that one, and there we go. I think we've got enough there. Jackie Elliott said uh, that swirly pattern stencil is a copy of one of the red and white papers from the gingerbread and peppermint DSP. It's meant to look like piped ice. Piped icing. Okay. Interesting. I did not see piped icing on it, but um, myself, but I suppose it all depends on how you, um, yeah. yeah I, I can imagine actually, because we haven't got that set yet, yeah, piped icing round, then obviously if you've got the bacon, the cooking stuff, and then you've got it, it would then tie in with that actually, wouldn't it? Yes. Because yeah. yes, come to think of it, it is part of that sweet, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using. Oh, I have got something here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to have to move my ink around on this. Do I need my bone folder anymore? Um, I'm going to move my ink on my cherry cobbler because it is quite juicy. Need to just spread it out a little bit, just so I get a bit of a, a bit more definition on my stamp. So I'm not wasting any ink. I'm just moving it. Obviously, I'm wasting a little bit, I suppose, but I just want to spread it because it was quite juicy. Oh my god! You're right. Yeah, it's Tommy. It's been a nuisance. So I'm just going to then just clean my. my bone folder and try and get that off as best as possible. I will give that a clean afterwards. I just will warn Jay that it, make sure that's clean Jay before you use it because it's yeah no, that's fine. So I've just spread my ink around a little bit on here and then I'm going to then just 
ink this up and then stamp this down that's it I'm better with that that's a better definition so I want one of those I want one in the small ones over here in the same in I may do two let's see that's that and I then want to then do some of the larger one here in some shaded spruce I'm going to do two of these ones. So there's a lot of detail in these stamps, which is why we like them so much. It's been, it's been a very popular one. See, look at the detail which comes out in in that. They are really, really pretty. So it's one of those stamp sets that you don't actually need to do much with it. You can, because the detail in the actual stamp itself, the distinctiveness of them is very, very good. Um, So I'm just going to clean, clean as I go. I've lost my seat. So in my seat. We've got so many cat beds in this house. But now, where do the cats want to sit? Right where we're working. So that's those ones. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to then die cut these out. So I'm just going to move my ink pads to one side so I don't... And then I'm going to then die cut. So I've got my mini again here. And I'm going to then die cut. So we all love a set which you can die cut out easily. Thank you so much, Mandy. Amazing. Thank you. So, yeah, so if you're wondering what that is there, if you're new, that is the super chat. Um, so you can, if you want to, you can donate to us live if you would like. Um, and every little bit goes towards helping us create these videos for you. So thank you very much, Mandy. The super chat can be found um, down below in the but down below in the live chat. Um, you'll see like a smiley face, a little dollar sign, and then like a little dollar sign down there, and that's where the super chat stickers are. And I'm just going to do that one. Here we go. Jennifer wanted to ask what stamp set we're using. What stamp set are we using? We are using the Forever Fern stamp set. So this is currently 15% um, off currently at the moment until tonight only. So we are the 20th of October 2020. So that is going to run until, um, in the UK time, it will run until about 10.50 tonight because we work on... European time and obviously in Germany German time which is now in front of us at the moment so so just do that for the large one here just look they're lovely and then I will do this smaller one right here I think I actually do only need one of these. I did two just in case, but I think one one should suffice. Just make sure as you go through, just make sure that your plates don't move your move your die. There's one nothing worse than lining it up, spending all that, spending all that time stamping it out, and then the die has moved ever so slightly as you run it through, and then you end up with odd odds and sods all right so that's the the dies which i've got there so i'm actually done with those so i'm going to chuck those back in the pack i'm going to then do this one right here which is another pattern from it and i should have it was here a bit of green there it is so i've got myself a little bit of evening evergreen here and I'm going to be using this die, which is down to it again. I'm just going to then just die cut this out of this one. Again, this is just a scrap which we had lying around from a class which we prepped recently. Um, I 
What green ink did you use? I used um, Shaded Spruce Mandy. And I'm just going to take this off. So yeah, it was Shaded Spruce and um, Cherry Cobbler is the colours I've stamped in. So I've then got this one right here. And do I need any more die cutting? I do need one more die cut which is now going to be this one right here. Yeah, I suppose what we wanted to do is, when we realised that the sale was gone, we only obviously only not notified of the sale um, a day or two ago. And we kind of wanted, to, uh, probably a lot of you may have this already, especially if you're demonstrators, you probably may have this set or yeah, well, you may you may have it. So it may be something which is in your in your collection, and um, we wanted to show you that you can actually use a non-Christmas stamp set to create a card. So I'm going to now use. Oh, I think I've got the wrong green. Oh, no, I'll use shaded spruce here. That's fine. So I'm just going to use up some scraps. That do there. Just use up a little bit of a scrap on this one right here. So if I just grab my toolbox, which is halfway across the room. Oh. <laughs> yep. And I'll just cut that one out like so. And I'm just going to run that one through the machine as well. Twenty twenty. Did I say the wrong year, um, <laughs> Gillian? Have I gone back in time? You want to go back to twenty twenty? Did I? Yeah, no, I don't want to go back to twenty twenty. Please. <laughs> Did I say twenty twenty? Is that why you're saying twenty twenty? Mm -hmm. I mean, so this, if, this, if 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 that's what you mean, then this side is on on the twentieth of October, twenty twenty one. It was all the twenties, wasn't it? So twentieth, twentieth. 2010-20 is what I wanted to say. Um, so that there is that one. All right, so I have got all of those done. They can all go to one side. So now what I want to do is I need to do myself a little bit of flower arranging. I'm gonna pop all my dies away again. Um, I see. I like to, especially these are loose in here. I need to just pop them away before I lose them. Done. All right, so that over which I done earlier on is kind of, again, it's like a bit of a carrier for this. It gives me something to stick and to stick the flowers and the leaves, the leaves to. Um, that's purely all it is and then it may, it stands out from the card a little bit as well because then it then is going to be a clear white rather than an emboss with that embossing paste so that's the only reason why I have got this is just purely for it's kind of like a carrier so I can then pop some glue on the back of this over here and kind of then just stick it like so Right. Yeah, there will be glue which will st stick out, but that's fine. And then I'm going to go with my larger one here, glue on the back. And then you kind of want to then bring this round. Like so. And then I want to... Do it on this larger one right here. This is it. You can make you can probably really make some really nice reefs using this one right here. And then I'm gonna bring that one in 
like that. So at the moment it looks a complete and utter mess. So glue on the back. You can see I'm just gluing at the base of this as well because I kind of want the flowers to be a little bit more um, freer. And then that's going to go in like so. Do the same over here. You can see we use all of our scraps up. We don't chuck anything away and then I just use the back of it. It's fine. And then that one is going to go like so. And then we will then have the final one which is then going to be like that there. All right, so that there is my is my topper ish. Okay, so that's that. So I just need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what I want to do now is I want to then pop a sentiment on this. So the sentiment which I have used is from the perfectly plaid stamp set, which I'm using Merry Christmas. I'm going to be using some Aversa Mark, and I'm going to be heat embossing. Because I'm going to stamp onto some cherry cobbler, so that there is my is my topper nearly completed. So that's that one. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab myself my embossing buddy or whatever you've got something which you can then just take away. Sticky fingers, and my fingers are sticky at the moment because they have been using um, the embossing pastes on it. So just take away any stickiness. And I'm going to then stamp here so I'm using my Versamark and I'm just going to do that here What was that? I just seen what a good way of storing your scraps. What in our folders? Is that what you mean there? As, as, have we lost feed? I don't know. It, for some reason, it stopped on mine. No. Just going to double check to make sure that we are up to. Yes, no, you are up to date. Oh, for some reason, it had paused on my one. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, sorry, were you talking about how we store it in the folders? Yeah, we do, we just bought some of the lever arch um ring binders. They've gotta be the four the four prong lever arch ring binders. I can't I can't be doing with the two because I flap around too much inside. I can't be doing with that. So it's gotta be a four pronged one. And um it will then go into that and then we just store our coloured cardstock in that and then yeah as we cut scraps out and we've got a folder for each colour family so we've got our brights we've got we've got everything so yeah brights regals neutrals subtles um brights regals neutrals subtles what am i missing no that's it isn't it that's a four yeah and we have in colours oh and in colours so then that way we know if we're looking for a scrap, we can go to a particular folder. Um, obviously I'll show you. And then we, we label the folder on the side regals or whatever it is. And what I mean by the four pronged, it's the ones which are like that. So just get yourself some of those and then label each one inside with the, the color. So it's easy. And then just pop all your scraps as you um as you need it into it so like this little bit will go back into the oh, and just don't do what i've just gone and done and chuck the powder everywhere it's because i wasn't concentrating <laughs> just literally because i wasn't chucked it everywhere um pop your scraps away and pop it in there so the idea of me popping a bit of paper down underneath is so that i don't spill it everywhere but what you've got to remember to do is that when you pick a bit of paper up remember that the powder is still on it I know. And then you decant it. It's what I should have done before I just whipped that out like that. I was trying to do that kitchen table trick, wasn't I? Where I just try and <laughs> keep it. <laughs> it's not on my 
There we go. So what not to do with embossing powder? Make sure you decant it back into the container before you whip it off the table. So I'm now going to just heat set this. So this is white embossing powder on cherry cobbler cardstock. So I've now turned that into a powder and now into a nice shiny sentiment. And what I'm going to do, we need to fussy cut. All right. So very, it's it's simple enough. It's quite it's quite easy to fussy cut. And if Jay was doing this, it'll be amazing. I'm just going to just follow the curves around a little bit keep it straight here Jay your fussy cutting is, is very good yes it takes his time an awful long time to do it but it shows because it is very good so I'm just going to then just carefully go round and then we've got straight parts here which is nice and easy Just follow the arch and the curve rounds there. Around it all. And get a good pair of scissors if you want fussy cutting. They put these paper snips are amazing. We had a class last night and it was it was come up in conversation. Um, last night in class um, and they were saying I oh, always struggle with with fussy cutting I said well let's have a look at your scissors and they were like the they were a cheap pair of scissors from um, it which didn't, it didn't have a point it didn't yeah it, they were they were a cheap pair of scissors um, they do the job which is fine but then I don't they're not as good as ones which have got like a nice point in it and you can cut them cut right up here which I think is the secret to a good fussy cutting is a good pair of scissors so that's that one like that see that didn't take me long to do that will then go back in my scrap folder so what I want to do here now is I want to grab myself some dimensionals and then I'm going to stick this to this and then I am done what what yeah and we're in for you're in for a long haul tonight because we've still got a second car to do and it's already 10 to 8 <laughs> Well, I don't have to do one. No, I suppose Jay doesn't have to do one. Um, no, I suppose he doesn't. Because I do have two of these cards, so we could give up the second card could go away afterwards. Let's see. That's That's why, well, you pretty much made like, the stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to stick this to the card itself. So that has now been dried. So remember that was what I did at the beginning, which is that embossed with the um, shimmery embossing powder um, paste. So that is down there. I will then stick this down onto. So it's going to be a. It's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, it's going to be a triple D, a triple D card, because um, it's going to be on. No, it's a double D, but there's a bit of height on the, um, obviously with the flowers, or with, I keep saying flowers, with the leaves. So I'm just going to pop some dimension on the back of this, because it's just easier to stick this down rather than trying to stick this flat on something which has already got some dimension to it anyway. So that can then go on to our card like that. Okay, that is that one. And then what we would do is we would then just take some of these dimensionals here and 
I'm going to pop a few on. I'm going to use some of the larger ones and then I'm going to then just finish it off with some of the smaller ones just to fill this up because I just want it to. I just want it to stick to the card nicely. And that one right there. Take this off, stick this down. Bob's your uncle, and we're done. And that there is going to go, and that's going to see. See, it's quite messy in this part. This is where this sentiment then just goes in like this, covers up all of those joins down at the bottom, like that. And then that just ties it all together. I do just want to do one thing because this is a double, because there's a double height on this. I'm just going to carefully. This is where the little finishing touch is coming. Because we've got, you can see down here, I've got quite a lot of height in between, and that dimensional isn't hitting on anything. And I don't want that to go down because it then looks, it just looks odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another dimensional. I'll take the backing paper off of. And I use my take your pick tool. So I'm just going to take the backing paper off of this. He says. And then I'm just going to then gently, with my take your pick tool, I'm going to then just gently pop that to the back of that dimensional. So I've now got a double, I've now double deed that there, and then that sticks to the card, and has now brought it in line with everything. It's just that little finishing touch which you've got, I think just makes all the difference with how something then just finishes off and looks. And there we have it. That there is my card using Forever Fern turning it into a Christmas but again you could then take this design take this to not to, to some other colors which you've got lying around change the sentiment up and then you've got a card all year round so it does it's it's a stamp set which can be used for everything just change your colors I think that's that's all you really need to do with this set which I think which is why this is, is an amazing stamp set because it lends itself to so many different styles so there we have it so I did make one Thing off camera. If you're wondering why this one looks, the, the colouring on here, this is an off cut which Jay had lying around inside the stash. And obviously, well, I think what he must have done. How did you do this, Jay? Colouring pencil. Is that colouring pencils? Yeah, you can see. Now. He's now probably cursing me. He's going to say, why have you gone and used that on the card? Oh, no, it's fine. That's, that's been in the stamp set. It has been in the stamp set for a long time. But what? can you see there? What I've done on this one is I've just done a straight die cut. Whereas Jay's done a die cut on here, he's used the water colouring pencils and then he's then just gone and flicked it out and made them darker and just changed the colour and just brought it to life even more. So there you have it. That there is my card for you for this evening. Um, and I'm going to hand you over to Jay and he is going to do something for you. Just a quick one. I've got no idea what he's doing and to be honest with you, I don't think he has any idea of what he's doing either. But then what's new? What is new? He's, he's laughing because he knows um, he knows we're right. Um, it's a great Christmas card, love it. Um, thinking outside the box, Barry. Ten out of ten. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you, Nanny Shasha. Thank you. So, and Jay's gonna have to contend with powder because I've still got powder lying around everywhere. There you go. I'm gonna hand you over to Jay, and he's gonna do something with that other embossed panel which I did um, at the beginning as well. So, enjoy Jay's project. Yes. Let me just try and get rid of some of this powder for you. Good. There you go. Amazing. Well done, Barry. So, yes. So, thank you, Barry, for doing the embossing, which I have here. So, um, have I got it? Yes. So it pretty much dried um, a couple of minutes after he's done it. I'm gonna do tone on tone. We have a lot of mossy meadow in the top. 
yeah I, I do normally like white on white which Barry has already done and I just thought I'll just do change it up with the color um, I've got Vera Vanilla there I started doing it on basic white which really stands out so I thought I'll just offset it with a Vera Vanilla Ooh, just getting some stuff bear with but um, that is not yes that is basic white you can tell do you mind the white do you mind it that's old olive I'll do some more stamping um, after stamping my this stamp as you can see it's uh, slightly dirty I did use misty moonlight beforehand and I didn't clean clean it enough just like Barry hasn't cleaned this table well enough <laughs> like powder everywhere Sorry. that's fine um, so I'm gonna stamp I'll see if this one well I didn't use my normal chamois so I wanted a blushing bright yeah that looks okay and also mint macaron so I'm using the other stamps that Barry didn't use just because I was playing with it whilst he was demonstrator demonstrating even. right our mint macaron is really juicy so I'm gonna stamp off we may have to be quick so we are starting to experience some problems with okay. the connection so stamp off and then on and I've gone ahead and done a done one in misty moonlight as well so that is done that is done um, where's my stamp and I'll stamp another one in old olive just in um, because I think that one's too white so and then I'm just gonna die cut these and it's pretty much the same as um, what Spire's already done but in different colors and I'm just gonna die cut those so that one is so I gone ahead and done that and that's in Misty Moonlight on Vera Vanilla and I've just cut the bottom off and I'm just gonna die cut these and I'll show you another sample as well are we losing? No, I think we're okay but we are, I think the weather is affecting the signal <coughs> Gian, I'm using your sticky thank you so much I'm just going to do these quickly I was cutting a lot of them earlier was that Tommy sneezing? No, oh was it Zuki? Mm -hmm. the powder gets everywhere it does Mandy normally Barry is really careful I am, I got the spark <laughs> BC talking. Right, last one. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've only um started playing with tonight's card when we went live because we were prepping for our next class which is the merriest moments isn't it yes no words no of words of cheer merriest moments been and gone but you can still revisit the class um, 
because that is still available on the website. And tomorrow we have the coloring masterclass for the yes. holy holiday. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. That's it. So that I have. I'm gonna omit that. If you um, if you have bigger stamps or like bigger images that you you don't have much white space and you're placing it on colored cardstock you could always use your blends to um, color in between I won't do it for this one but um, I'll just well I'll show you quickly you just color in between so then you get the white of the basic white um, and on the stamp images and the areas darken so it matches your card base and that's what I've been doing earlier but it became too because it, these stamps are really tiny it just became um, too labor intensive and plus the design on this one is too similar with the sizing on the shimmer embossed so I've omitted that idea but I just wanted to show you I did do a, a larger piece but I can't find it now but anyway that is done and I'm just gonna add literally oh we, we're gonna need some stamping I thought love and laughter is quite nice sentiment for Christmas we just need to use love and laughter and then like wishing you a love um, Chris love and laughter for Christmas or something at Christmas so um, but I'm just gonna use again a sticky thing to mask it off normally our washi tape isn't very good so I'm using this thing to mask off that area because I don't want forever after <laughs> That's so right, that's the stamp that I have. And I'm just gonna stamp that on. This time I'm gonna do it in white because white is gonna pop even more or you can heat emboss it, but I'm just gonna stamp it in. Have you got Memento? Did you use Memento? <gasps> OMG. Oh look, shaded spruce. That will be do that will do fine. <laughs> Or real red. Oh, cherry cobbler. Cherry cobbler. No, shade is I'll keep it green. Keep it green. Go red. Red or green? Red, gold, and green. <laughs> Too late. You just wanted to use that um, pole, didn't you? Oh, I got it. Wait, I'm, I'm not asking it because I've um, already done it. So I'm just gonna do that. Suki, so don't look at me. <laughs> Oh no, it's Mini. <laughs> Mini's just looking up. So I'm gonna add that on there. Um, with glue. And also, I'm gonna add linen thread just to wrap. If it's here. Yay. Oh, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> too late. <laughs> sorry, Carol. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Oh, sorry. Right. I wasn't planning on fussy cutting, so I'm just gonna do this really fast, so it won't be as nice as what I normally do. That's what I picked you up. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, you give me too much credit, but because I knew I needed to um, pass it at this, but I ran out of time because Barry was too fast, right? 50 minutes. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> right, nearly done. Please remember to give us those thumbs up. Yes, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so if you're just watching at 
from a distance <laughs> without commenting but do comment once you have subscribed and you'll be put into the random draw have you got did you bring the mini glue dot did you use a glue dot no. okay that's fine i'll just use double-sided tape there and tape So do this and he says do it fast but I am kind of taking my time I do like pussy cutting but normally not live <laughs> because this is fast for me Do a poll. Who's got this set? That will be that will be a good poll. Who who's already got Forever Fern? Huh? Yeah. Oh, never done a pen before. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a pen before. Um. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. So that is gonna go there. Uh, oh no, they're they're all foam tape. Thing. Right. So that is gonna go there. I'm gonna have that up there. Where's my other stuff? This one, this one, there. I don't want that. And yeah, maybe not that green that green and then that one so not really Christmas I did bring I don't like going second now because normally I know where my mess are <laughs> I've, I've got no idea where all this stuff are um, Per perfectly flat. <laughs> Is that what you? That's what um, Barry used. So that looks quite cool. Um. So love and laughter. This special season could be a nice one. So I'll add that afterwards. Um. But because it's already ten past, ten past. Can you pass me the mini glue dot, please? Because I do need it. One. Yes, we're drawn. Thanks. We're drawn. We got drawn. <laughs> because the um. Parent tape isn't on the in the toolbox now. You took it. I blame Barry. But oh well. Uh, so this was just an off cut. I'm just gonna add a couple of those on. I've been using loads of mini glue dot recently. Actually, there's gonna be a video on Friday uh, for. Of course, Barry will have his fun for Friday, right? Yes. Um, I've got a video with the Global Snap and Video Hop. And it's a 3D home decor. It's like a treat box, which is, I don't normally do. So that's interesting. I really like it though. So hopefully you do too. So check that out on Friday. Gonna wrap this a couple of times. There, I would use there and date. Ooh, this is kind of like <laughs> there and tape. It's just to um keep it in place at the end there, but I will stick that down. <laughs> amazing and then that's just gonna get added on the base there we go 
how's the poll going? Wow. So the those who got no to add that on today. Get it today from yourself or us. Where? Links can be found below. I don't want to keep saying it, Barry. You've already okay, mentioned it right. like three times. Alright, And I've already like added the stamp sale link is on the chat. Okay. You know. That was Jay's firm talk with me. But anyway, it's all done. And I'm just gonna finish up with this and I'm just gonna do it a couple of times there fold that over so not too Christmassy but I think with the colors especially I think the background makes it um, Christmassy but you can as I said you can add love and laughter at Christmas I'm gonna leave it there because um, we have been on for an hour and 20 minutes nearly there you go so really um, great with the shimmer embossing paste and the forever fern just used in different colors and bars gonna come over Wow 74% Yes. And that is done. You can do this. So lovely. Have we got anything to show? I don't think we do. Um, um, <coughs> did I show fun Friday last week? I don't know. I don't know. It's been I'm not sure. Did I show you? Uh, did I show you Funfold Friday last week? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we did um, on Sunday, but this was what we created on on Funfold Friday last week. So if you want to go back and have a little look at how this was created, then you can you can see it. So I'm just going to get all of the names in from tonight's comments, and we are going to pick a winner to do my first card. Which was um, this one right here. So if Jay wants to just talk and keep you happy for a moment. Um, <laughs> yes, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I do have a couple of... Um, I don't know if we've shown you. These haven't been blogged or... Um, but these are created f using the ho happy holidays um, I think I, I may have shown you these and this one as well so that one is using the the punch the holly border punch as well and I've actually used that for the stamping lamb squad tutorial bundle coming up um, this month and the global creative project global creative project is what do we use painted Christmas so I've already created one for that so there we have it. So good. So we're going to pick a winner for the first card right here. We're going to go with the wheel of names again. So let's go over to that and we will get that ready. Do yeah. That so good luck, everyone. Who's it going to be? Oh, Maureen. Maureen Power. Congratulations, Maureen. Details on the screen right now, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com, and that card is going to be working its way over to you. Ooh, so close, um, Claire. So sorry. <laughs> we hope <laughs> it was either side. We were Claire and Mandy. Mandy. Oh. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for uh, staying and joining us this evening. And again, thank you, Mandy Allen, for the super chat stickers. Yes, thank you very much, and thank you to everyone who's purchased from us over the last week as well. We really appreciate yeah. that. 
So congratulations, Maureen. That card is yours. Um, if you would like to win this card right here, pop a comment in down below. Um, or wherever it is after this video has gone, um, has after we finished the live, and you will be entered into a distraught on Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> um, to win, Jay's. Yeah. Unique take on a Christmas card. Well, no, I'll I'll, I'll finish it off. I'll do um a white emboss the this season underneath. Love and laughter okay. this season. It's Lovely. just I didn't want to take too much time. Cool. Excellent. Thank you all for watching, and we will be back with you again on Sunday evening, same time, same place. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.